All right, Brian, here we go. Uh, Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky. I'm at our headquarters in Mayfield. This is the bottom lot. Across the street's the top lot. And if you were to go to the end of the dead end street here, you would see a bunch of service centers like this, our reconditioning facilities, our um, Mac and Jack facility, we call it, where we do lifts and wheels and tires and all that stuff. Uh, but the purpose of this video, we want to walk around this beautiful Grand Wagoneer Series 3 load it up um, you know a lot of times we do these videos and we go through the features of the vehicle and show you all the things i don't have enough time there's not enough storage on my phone to do this a video that goes over all the features of this thing so uh, i'm going to focus on the shape and i'll point out a few things along the way but uh, obviously all of our vehicles are used we don't expect any of them to be perfect uh, this one's got thirty thousand miles on it so not a ton of miles uh, but it should you know again we're not expecting perfection. It should just be really, really nice. And this one is, you got your hand cooked tires, excellent tread. I'm gonna say 90%, 95% tread, basically brand new. Uh, wheels are in great shape. It's black wheels. I'm not seeing any curbing, scraping, anything like that on those, which is always nice to see. You got one little spot on that one. That's being pretty picky. Uh, this one's great. Uh, so four good wheels, four good tires. It's what we like to see. As I look down the body lines here, I'm looking for major dings, scratches, anything like that. Um, two days ago, this thing was on a test drive, so you may see a bug or two on it. Um, but man, super, super nice. It's like one little scratch coming right off of that logo right there. Parking sensors, everything straight ahead. Looks really, really good. Driver's side. There was something on this side. I see if I can find it. There it is. Right off the door handle there. Not sure if the camera's picking that up at all, but a little scratch right there. Again, that's being uber picky with it. No hell damage. Nothing across the hood. Paint's got a beautiful sparkle to it. Hope the camera's catching that. Uh, but no major dings, scratches, scrapes on this side. Really, really nice. So I'll sound like a broken record as I go around this vehicle. Uh, headlights, fog lights, everything looks really, really good. That grill is just, I mean, that is second to none in my book as far as style goes. Just beautiful. Uh, I've got the vehicle running. I give it a little gas so you can hear that rumble we were talking about. Uh, the cold start sounded really good when I fired it up. Like all the way awesome. Okay, uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and do underneath the hood here. This is a 6.4 liter. And I always tell people, I don't know an alternator from a radiator, but <clears throat> I can look through one. I've been trained a little bit just to look for excessive rust or corrosion. And you can see just how clean that is. All those connections, all those bolts, bolts uh, very, very nice looking through there. No knocking, no ticking of the engine. Sounds great. I love how much space the engine bay gives you here. So many of these newer vehicles now, they've got everything so packed in there that if something were to break, there wouldn't be any room to work on it. Uh, you'd have to lift the cab basically to do it. Uh, that's not the case here. All kinds of space, lets the engine breathe a little better too. Um, and of course you've got all your style components uh, that come with the Grand Wagoneer. This is Chrysler uh, really showing out uh, all that they're capable of doing. Uh, been a great company for a long time. And I feel like the Grand Wagoneer is kind of a culmination of years and years of work getting into this uh, high-end luxury market uh, with the Jeep brand. And I just think they've nailed it. Uh, there's something right there on that trim piece there. You can see that a little nick there. 
went ahead and got those headlights on. They look great. Awesome. Let's see if I can get, uh, gotta get the brights off for those fogs to come on, I think. Yeah, fog lights too. Looks great. Okay, let's make our way to the inside. I'll give you a look at the frame real quick. Put that power running board close. <laughs> that's as <laughs> that's as clean as it gets. That one's <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Uh, we look underneath sometimes. You know, you just never know. You want to look for any signs of excessive rust, corrosion, anything, and uh, that one's super clean. Love this. So you got these really cool floor mats in here. These are the factory ones. A uh, couple crumbs in there, of course, from, uh, well, that's probably from me. I got in the back seat just a second ago. But I love that it's Velcro. Uh, that is, I'm not sure I've seen that yet. So you got the nice metal trim with the Velcro. Um, making sure that floor mat is secured. Seat backs look good. Um, yeah, we could spend all day doing the style stuff. Okay, so really nice touch screen back here for um passengers in the back to adjust their climate settings heated and cooled seats back here um of course you're gonna have this operating system here uh let's see if it's one touch or if i've got to hold my thumb down on it for a second um but yeah so these are awesome you can plug up a hdmi you can go dual screen here you can use wi-fi in the vehicle um play movies uh, you can go to the apps, you can see your Google Chrome, your Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus. You can actually add even more to it, uh, but uh, this is just the pinnacle of comfort, convenience, features for your passengers. <clears throat> nice big center console here. Looks like some batteries. Uh, there's your headsets. Awesome. Charging ports, all that stuff looks great back here. Uh, sunscreens uh, you got a double roof in the front and a third roof in the back uh, I'd have to climb back there to open that one up but uh, other thing I'll notice um, other thing I notice see a camera lens back here that allows uh, you uh, the driver and passenger up front to be able to look at that third row uh, with the touch of a button uh, just to check on kids or whatever back there cargo dogs anything like that speaking of dogs all kinds of space back here if you wanted to uh have a pet in the back uh let's see collapse this third row here all kinds of space back here love that uh, probably something that's not talked about enough with the Grand Wagoneer is the enormous amount of cargo space, uh, especially with that third row folded flat. Okay, uh, headliner looks great all throughout. I mean, just as beautiful of a vehicle as maybe we've ever had here. I've been here seven years, seen a lot of cool stuff including like the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagons and stuff like that that we've had, some of our luxury brands. I just don't know if I've seen one uh, quite this awesome. So we'll finish in the driver's seat here in just a second. But you notice even the passenger seat has the all the uh, massaging seat capabilities, um, seat memory, uh, one and two. Um, you've got all the countless ways you can adjust the seat. Uh, one thing I like, um, this, the bottom of the seat actually has the leg extension that will come out. Not sure if the camera's catching that or not. Uh, really allow you to stretch out. This headrest is adjustable in a bunch of different ways, but you can lay the seat basically flat, stretch this out, and uh, I mean, really be able to take uh, some really solid rest uh, makes you want to take a nap. Uh, notice a little scratching there on the uh, side there of the center console. Uh, but again, used vehicle that was 
very minor compared to obviously lots of things we see here okay i said this video would be short but man it's just so hard to do um get my sunglasses off so i can see what i can so i can see everything here um heated and cooled seats of course uh i was just gonna click around on the touch screen here a little bit just so that you can see everything's in working order it's all your comfort navigation stuff there's the map popping up really nice interface there of course you can do apple carplay uh there's a touch screen over here as well um man and that may be more of a display screen than a touch screen but the list goes on uh we could just keep going there's your digital rearview mirror you can flip that on and off with a click of a button uh, again that big double roof center console and uh this actually is a cool box as well you can turn the ac on in there and it'll keep things nice and cool and in fact it's very cool right now so kind of got a, a refrigerator component to it uh macintosh sound system uh for my money that's the number one sound system in um in the car business right now uh tesla's is probably a close second but that macintosh sounds great uh all your different features here and a really nice massage feature for those front seats uh is really really cool so there's a hidden compartment it needs to be vacuumed out a little bit better but uh a uh, hidden compartment for storage and charging ports and phones and all that stuff all right this thing's a spaceship let me know what other questions you have i love it so much um would love to send it to you.